Today we're talking about how to close sales on the phone. Yeah, a few tips that will help you close sales on the phone. So let me wait for a few seconds. When people join, then I'll start. There are two people here already. Three people are here already. And uh, we have hit seven. When we hit 10, I'll start. One more person. <laughs> So welcome, welcome, welcome everybody. Welcome to, yeah, I, want, I just want to share a few tips with us that will help you close or increase your probability of the sales that you will be able to close when you are on the phone with a customer. So let me start. Now, a lot of times you are either calling a customer or a customer is calling you. Am I right about that? A lot of times you are either calling a customer or a customer is called. A lot of times you are either calling a customer or a customer is calling you. That is, this is how, you know, you, you close a lot of the sales. You are either calling the customer or it is a customer that is calling you. So this is how, you know, a lot of the sales that you do are closed on the Oh, all right. So, what are the things that you will need to increase your call rates, call success rates on the sales calls with the clients? Number one, you want to establish the kind of questions you want to ask the client on the phone. You want to establish the kinds of questions you want to ask the client on the phone. Because what makes, what brings out the sale is not really the product that you sell, but it's in your ability to ask those questions. So establish the questions to ask on the phone. Number two, you want to establish your logistics before the call. What do I mean by your logistics before the call? So when you're on the call with a client or when the client calls you, they usually ask for certain things. True of us. If you notice that most of the people that call you for your product or your service, they usually ask for certain things. Am I right about that? Am I right about that? They usually ask for certain things. Those things are your regulars. Maybe they're asking for a quote. They're asking for the, the delivery process and usually you usually send those things to them so when I say zoom call or it's on or it's a telephone call your client usually ask for certain things they say okay send me a proposal or send me this documentation whatever those things are those are your logistics if it's a zoom call you want to ensure that all those things are in front of you all right so those are your logistics that's number two number three you want to establish the expectation of the call you want to establish the expectations of that call critically important um, why is that call taking place what's the purpose of the call those expectations are really really powerful to set up um, uh, next, you want to do a analysis of the customer's need. You want to analyze the customer's need. And after that, you want to also analyze, is this customer the person that will pay for this product? It's important. Is this customer the person that will pay for this product? You know, it's called your... your you want to know, is this the person that has the buying power for this product? You want to know whether the person is an authority. Now, there are different ways through which you can, uh, I'm looking at my notes here, through which you can, um, you can um, establish or qualify the customer. Petra, how are you? So, uh, there's a way called Bant method. The Bant method is a very old method. The Bant method stands for budget, authority, need and timing this are you qualify whether a customer can actually pay for your products it's called the qualifying matrix 
because you know how many of you have ever spoken to a customer before only for the customer to tell you that i will get back to you or i am not the person in charge of purchase has that ever happened to you before have that ever happened to you before or like i like your product but it's not me that will pay come on man. say yes has that ever happened to you before has that ever happened to you before <laughs> You guys are not talking to me. <laughs> yes. Okay. Odun says yes. 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 And that is because you have not qualified the customer well. So let me give you a framework for customer qualification. Use the BANT. Write the word that BANT. B-A-N-T. The B stands for budget. Do they have a budget for this product? You, you know that they even have the money for the product. A is authority. The person I am on the phone with, is this the key decision maker? Is this the key decision maker? That's why one of the one of the most intelligent questions you can ask somebody on the phone is, sir or ma, apart from you, is there any other key decision maker in terms of buying this product? All right. So you don't ask the client, are you the decision maker? You said, apart from you, you have established that you are also a decision maker. But is there any other decision maker when you, when you guys are buying product? So you want to establish authority. Next, you want to establish, is there a need for your product? Do they really have a need for your product? So you have uncovered their need, yes. But can your product help them get to where they are going to is there a need lastly in the band the t is timing when do you want to buy this product it's important that you establish that how soon do you want to sign up how soon do you want to buy because a customer that says to you that i want to buy in december it's not a bad customer because you need december money but there is a way you would deal with a customer that wants to buy in december and a customer that wants to buy in the next 24 hours true of us True or false now? Come on, man. Right? Come on now. Talk to me, man. Right? There's a way you deal with a customer that wants to buy in September or a customer that wants to buy this summer. Right? Right? Good. But a lot of times, you don't even know. This is a master class. Oh, man. You should have paid for this class. You don't even know the timing. You don't even know the timing. So you just assume that everybody wants to buy now. Mbano. They don't all want to buy now. You must always ask, how soon do you want to pay for this product? Do you want to sign up now? It's important because if they say they want to pay in September, there's nothing wrong with that because that means that that customer has a 60 or 90 days plan. Because in September, you will need money now, two of us. You will need one in September. So you keep your September clients in one place. What you should be doing will be following up on them so that when the September comes, they don't go and buy from somebody else. You're always asking them for more information that you can give to them. So when September comes, they will buy from you. Or you can even tell them that since you want to buy in September, why don't you pay a deposit now? Give them a very little deposit so that they are committed to you. Did you get that? Speaking about September, I have a class coming up in September. I have a cohort coming up. I have a three-week sales school called Sell Anything to Anyone Sales School. We finished the fifth cohort in uh, May. May 29th to, to June 12th. There were 73 people in the class. And um, of those 73 people, they have made sales of 397 million naira. They made sales of 397 million naira based on what I taught them in the three-week sales school. So I want to relaunch that school again. For three weeks, every Sunday, I'll be teaching you for over four hours on Zoom. Then during the week, my team of three other coaches will be coaching you one-on-one -on -one for your business during the week. There will be assignments and there will be certificates. You'll get a certificate from the Paul Fo company. My company is registered in the United Arab Emirates in Dubai and my company is also registered in America. So you get an international sales certification when you attend this class. And if you attend this class, you will be added to my paid WhatsApp group for free for one full month. I will give you access to three of my books for free as well. To attend this class is usually 120,000 naira for the three weeks. 
But I'm doing a promo right now. So on that promo, you can pay 50% of that price, which means you can pay 60,000 naira right now to attend the class. Who would like to attend that class right now? Say I. So if you want to attend the class, you click on the if you don't, if you're not interested, don't say I. Because that will make you somebody that is not too serious. It's okay if you don't want to attend the class now. Maybe later. But if you truly want to attend, say class, coach, I have my 60,000 naira now to pay for it. Click on the link on my Instagram bio right now. Or do are you coming back? That would be good. That would be good. Yes, digital Amaka, you can do installments. But if you pay something now. So if you say, coach, I'm interested. I'm coming to your DM now. If you come to my DM, come to my DM and say, send me your account number. That's the only way I know that you're serious. Or if not, you just want to catch crews. And I know you are not that kind of person. You have integrity. Odu, you are coming back. Wow. Odu was in the last cohort. So you enjoyed it so much. Now he's coming back. So that's, that's, it. that's it. That's a testament to how powerful the program is. And I've stepped up my sales game. I've stepped it up seriously. Uh, all right. So yeah, so click on the link on my Instagram bio right now and pay. You have a 50% discount. So you pay 60,000 naira instead of 120,000 naira. So run there right now because I finished it. I have already finished this Instagram live. I'm just talking about the class. Who who else wants to register for the class right now? Say I. Right. Colors of Hope concept. Come to my DM if you're serious. It's only when you want to pay to do. If not, don't come. I don't want how how are you? I don't want how was your date. No. If you want to pay right now for the class, come to the DM right now. And I'll give you my account number. You can pay for the class. So I've shown you guys the BANT method of qualifying a customer. B-A-N-T method of qualifying a customer. The B is for budget. Do they have a budget? Do they have the money for it? The A is for authority. The person I'm talking to on the phone, is this person the authority figure? You don't want to finish the call and the person says, let me discuss with my account officer. Let me discuss with my husband. No, you want to establish that. All right? Uh, the N is for, what did I say, banter? Uh, 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 the N is for a need. Do they have a need for the product now? And then the T is for timing. Very important. Do they want to buy now? Is this something, is this something they want to do now? Or in six months' time? Or in two months' time, because a customer that wants to buy from you in September, you will treat him different from, differently from a customer that wants to buy with, from you now or wants to buy from you tomorrow. There's nothing wrong with September sales because you need money in September. But you need to establish timing. Don't assume that everybody wants to buy now. Always ask, how soon do you want to go ahead with this purchase? Timing is critically important. I hope this was useful to you. Have a great morning. And those of you that want to join the cohort, Click on the link on my Instagram bio right now and join the three week sales course. You get a 50% discount. My three week sales school is life changing. Those that attended it uh, in May, they produce sales of 397 million naira with proofs. I have proofs to show it to you. I know exactly what I'm talking about. And this thing called sales is in my blood. So if you want me to help you in your business, join us. You have a 50% discount after before we take the price to. Uh, the highest price which is in the next 24 hours. God bless you.